No! The rocket! How did they hear his whole speech as the sound of the rocket was way over the fact? Gramps is dead. Rest in pepperoni, everybody. Pour one out. Put your Diet Cokes high in the sky. Raise a Diet Coke to Gramps. Just kidding. Tear saved him. Save your... Wait, this is gross. What a... It's so flat. Somebody got the drop on me. That sounds naughty. Also feeling a bit lighter, way flatter. Oh. Talking squid jerky, you're alive? I guess so. Gramps has uh, followed the Planet Fitness black card instructions, and uh, he's back. We're still in danger of the rocket, the fuzz. The fuzzy wuzzies, but we'll never catch that rocket. It is impossible. What can we do now? I don't know, man. Hold up a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sounds like you folks need some help. And Deep Cut is here to steal the spotlight. Of course you are. Who could have thought you'd be evil this whole time? Swirl it up, Elise. Are you going to go after the rocket? Oh, yes, you are. Oh. Okay. Your turn, Master Mega. It's just like all the Pokemon assembling for the championship. What's your ability? Hey, here. I <laughs> love whenever he enters this high board. It's great. It's awesome. Oh! <laughs> That's just kind of cool. Stay fresh up there, bucko. Let's go. The fate of the world is in your hands. Now, is this boss battle going to be cooler than the Octo Expansion boss? That is what we got to live up to right about now. All right? We'll see how this goes. We're in space, baby. We're in space now. Yes, we did it. We got the, got the, ooh, the aura protecting you. I like it. Ooh, the Salmonoids. So wait, the statue of Grizz in... What? Gooey space bears is not what I had on the docket for a Tuesday evening. Such dedication to your work. I think you earned yourself a break. <laughs> oh. Now come here so I can break you. Oh, I get it. Ah, uh -huh, funny. All right, so luckily, I'm a pro salmon runner. All right. I know what I'm doing. Here we go. Uh, do I capture all the golden eggs? Just kidding. Oh, it's the whole way through. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I know what to do. I'm I'm good. I got this. The mammalians think they can get to me. It's not gonna happen. So how do I stay on here? It's kind of what I want to know. Uh, is that it? No. Holy mackerel. Okay. Uh, how do I? Is it right here? No. Ooh, that is right there. That's how you do it. You see that? It was right inside of here. Wait, is it like that? It is like that. Okay. Never mind. Just kidding. Oh, yes. Okay. I thought we had to launch it directly onto him, all right? I didn't know how the boss mechanics work, all right? That is my mistake. I should have known better at the time. Here we go. Come on, eat that up. There we go. Eating that a lot more quickly than before. Ooh, look, you see how quickly I swerve out of the way? That's because I'm a professional. Professional, you could say. All right? Right here, yeah. Right there, nice. Oh, so the more that it eats him, it's going to turn him back good. I get it now. Never mind. He turns into more ooze and he dissolves into the goo. Okay. It's okay to be wrong. More fuzzy oozies. Cool. There's trash in space? Actually, there is space debris. That is a thing. Because for all the satellites that don't actually work anymore, they just launch it into space. And the funniest thing... The funny, and like, obviously I'm all about saving the environment, of course, right? But the thing is like, all the scientists are like, hey, so we can't just launch things into space because that pollutes space. And it's like, I understand that, but also space is like an infinitely expanding, like, thing. So like, what are you talking about? It's polluting space. I don't understand what you... Okay. I don't understand what you mean. You know? Like, what do you mean space 
gets polluted. Do you mean like the atmosphere around where we're at gets polluted? Because clearly, like, we're, we're good, right? We have infinite space for all this stuff. So, like, what's the big deal? But there is, there is stuff in space that uh, causes it to be a problem. Are we good? Oh, I gotta continuously make my way over toward here. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. I see you. I guess not. Never mind. Just kidding. Over toward here. Uh-huh. Yes. Give me these. Is it four? Probably five, actually. Can I make it to this one? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, that was a spicy meatball. I mean, for that to be that way. Uh-huh. Nope. No! Come on! Seriously? Okay, right there. There we go. I don't know why that was... That process more difficult. So, th the real challenge there was getting ahead of the curb on the rotating rocket. So now... Oh, there's a lot of little itty bits around there. Yep. A lot of those... A lot of those bits. Okay. Where'd he go? To the tippity top of the rocket. He's just a bear trying to defend his salmon. But like, should it, yeah, shouldn't that be his goal? He's a big giant bear. Just to get the salmon. Okay, I get it, you're mad. Of course you're mad. Why, why would you be happy, you know? But like, still, you don't need to be so over dramatic, I feel like, you know? We'll do this. Ooh, causing some uh, ruckus over toward here. I see you. All right. Well, let's uh, let's not dilly dally here, shall we? Uh huh. Back over toward here. Yes. Uh huh. Just move. Just move. Go. 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 Move. There we go. Avoid this. Yep. Okay. Where's my out? Where's my out? I don't know, but I'm walking here. But I'm walking here. I don't know if it's fast enough, but it's something. All right. Um. Where's my out? Oh, right here. Duh. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Just making sure. You know? All right. Back into here. Yep. As long as you defeat one of them, you're good to go. Right here. No, nope, I'm sorry. Nope, that's not it. That ain't it, Chief. I don't know what that does. No! Okay, so get out of the way of the sonic boom. Noted. Okay, stay out of the way of that one real quick. Don't bother with that. There's no way you're escaping that one. All right, and then he's going to take a little bit of time to recharge here. Right, and then that. Nope. Okay, well, I had the right idea at least. Come on. Right back here, buddy. Nope. Okay, good. And I recharged right in the middle of that time right there. And that's it. Finally. Well, at least there's the three of those down. I don't know if that's him completely. It looks like... You are proactive, aren't you? Aren't you, no, but it's time to clock out. In a few minutes, Earth will be ruled by mammals once again. See, that's not good. That's no bueno. D -d 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 DJ Octar. This is a cool character design. I'm gonna say it again, man. Look at this. You got the you got the giant ink thing too. You're not dropping this beat on our turf, Bucko. Yeah. We'll hype you up from here, Agent Three. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are deep. Okay, you do not take any credit for any of this. I, I, I the only one that gets credit is Big Man. All right, the rest of you did nothing. Shiver and, and Fry, you did nothing. Okay, you are incredibly obnoxious. Take all the limelight and nothing. Oh, it's our turn, yes. Hit it. That heavenly medley. Look, I want this as a Lego set, still. 
be so cool. Oh, buddy. Getting big on us. Probably. You're spinning right around. Gonna get big. Marine energy flowing up there. Streams of light. Three lights united in to consume the disaster. As if foretold by the huge for oh my goodness. Wow. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like this. I like the intergalactic salmon. Yeah. The bear is filled with fuzzy ooze. Eliminate the fuzz balls to help huge fry. Okay. We will do what we must to eliminate the ooze. I'm assuming we'll play as the DJ here. Return of the Mammalians. Mammalians. That's it. You ooze, you lose. Go back to Ursa, whiner. You ready, Octavia? Let's go. Okay, so he has like a, a roller. Buzzballs, meet my ink vac, Agent 3. All right. Steer the Octo King and vacuum up those fuzzballs. You got it. Only three minutes and 33 seconds before he slams into Earth. All right. You know it. All right. So, ooh, it's like a... What is this angle? This is very bizarre. Very bizarre angle here. Oh, and I have to defend while this is all going on? Interesting. Okay. So can I do this? Is that it? Am I getting it? I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay. So clearly, yeah, I just got to defend what's going on. Okay. It is making a difference. You see this? No, just kidding. It's not. Wait. Is this working? I can't tell. I literally can't tell if this is working or not. Okay. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Uh-huh. I just had to get really close. I see. Okay. So I had to get exceptionally close to the whole thing. All right, Octavio. You're good. We got this. The timer's running real low. But, like, you know. That's fine. Uh, that does not work. Okay. That is not what we want here. I love that the little the I love that he got like super big like that. That's really cool. All right. Back up toward here. Here we go. No. Don't you def dare defy the little buddy. Don't you dare. Stop attacking him for a second here. We got a little bit of time to work with. Come on. Oh my goodness, seriously? Come on. Come on. It's just a couple spots. That's all. Okay. Keep the distance, social distance. Uh-huh. Right up in here, nice. I think I got this, right? Three minutes? Should be okay, reposition Octavio. We got one, two more? If it's two more, I don't know, man. Okay. Move in, move in, move in. Ignore all these, no! Come on. Actually, avoid these. Don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't pay any mind to them here, all right. Yep. Just... Yep. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Nope. Okay. Mm. Seriously? How do I avoid them? Oh my goodness, really? You see the way he's grabbing the little buddy right here? How awful is that? Go. Really? Seriously? Go. Go. Right here like picking them up into the air or into the space and dropping them down that's not what i like to see get the well i guess he's big buddy now sure okay 34 we got 30 seconds to make this magic happen come on come on stop wasting time octavio let's go i to make it work you're gonna make it work it's gotta be gotta be just like uh dr mario precise just kidding i guess not all right go go I'm not going to make it. There's no way. Seriously? Come on. That's by some miracle, some happenstance right here. No, sir. Come on. 
That's rigged. Of course it's rigged. They're like, yeah, we're going to put different waves on top to make it uh, more difficult for you. Yeah. All right. One more time. That's kind of a cool uh, ending animation, though. Oh, everything's all mammalian. I mean, the game would be more interesting, maybe. On that day, a massive fuzzball was born in space. The whole thing is one giant fuzzball. Yeah. Look at how awful that looks for Big Buddy. Come on. You got this. Okay, now I got plenty of time on this one. So it was really just about me learning the ropes on the last one. Yeah, and then them doing these little battles right here. Yes, I know. That's a big important thing, right? So yeah, I don't like the way he's tossing Big Buddy out like that, but I guess it's kind of how it be or how it do, you know? All right. There we go. Now we should be good to go. Right up into here. Oh, I'm sneaking right through these things. You see that? The other little things, the giant meteorites and stuff. Look at that. Tossing them down that way. I, I love this. All oh, this is excellent. Ooh, ooh. Right into your face. Yeah, there we go. Get him out of here. Go. Go. Look how epic that is. It's pretty epic. All right. <laughs> Seems all my work has been for nothing. Yeah, just like most jobs, I guess. The times have changed. The world can never be as it was moving forward in the future. I suppose this is it then. He looks like he's coated in honey. A little honey bear. You will not receive the severance pay. Okay, but the damage from that rocket would absolutely impact Earth, and the whole Earth would be covered in ink, which I guess is fine, but... Let's not pretend like there's no repercussions for that part either. Seriously. Little buddy, you've done wonderful. Big buddy. Salmon buddy. Not normally a fan of salmon, but there we go. Now he's all good. Aww. He's just like, yep, that's it. Not making a big deal out of himself, not being a showboat. Just like, yep, this has happened, and now it is done. My time is done, and we can rest. See, that he doesn't need all the awards and accolades. He just needs to be uh just to just to feel loved. That's all he needs. And that's all anybody really needs at the end of the day. The warm embrace of a sack. All right, where's the zap fish? What why am I exit to the main menu? What? Listen up, it's going down. The Splatlands and Deep Cutter here. Okay. Big man, breaking news is Zapfish is back. The return of the great Zapfish. Not at the very tippity top of whatever, but, you know, it's still there. But the Squid Sisters are single. I guess they're single, all right. Gentlemen, ladies, they're looking, I guess. They really are our bosses. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Until then, there's a wave goodbye. So that's that, huh? That's the whole story mode, it seems like. Interesting. Do we get to splat? Oh, we do. Yes, we do. See the little itty bits floating into space here? That's really cool. So this is uh, Splatoon as uh, created by Nintendo and all that. Uh, oh, you get to see it in 3D space. Yeah, that's sweet. This is really cool. I thought the end credit scene for uh, the Octo expansion was good. This is pretty good, too. So obviously, uh, I talk about the game as the credits go by as a means of... Uh, Acknowledging everybody that participated in making the game and then talking about how I feel about the game. So really with Splatoon, the reason you're buying it for the most part is for the multiplayer. You're really going online, competing in all the various game modes. They change up the maps every once in a while, add in a bunch of new gear and all that. Now they have added three Splatoon games in the past seven years, which is more than like most other Nintendo franchises that have existed like ever. We haven't gotten seven Pikmin games, or rather three Pikmin games in seven years, or three Mario or Zelda. Well, we got three Zelda. Well, actually, new ones? Uh, yeah, three. But that's Zelda, right? Splatoon is one of the newer franchises that Nintendo has ever come up with, and uh, we're seeing a lot of love for it. So did they really need to make a Splatoon 3 on the Nintendo Switch? It's very popular in Japan. 
in case you haven't realized that. I love that the world is coated in ink. That's pretty cool. So it's very, very, very popular in Japan, which is, I feel like, the driving factor why they decided to do this. Obviously not that Americans wouldn't love it, but it is super popular in Japan. And there's a lot of the cultural uh, uh, things that happen in Japan that are reflected in Splatoon. A lot of the technology, the, the emphasis on fashion, uh, pop music, which obviously it happens in America, but not in the same way. Not at all. That is a lot of what drives uh, Japanese culture. So um, I understand why this game was made and they didn't add it on as a Splatoon 2 DLC because when a game is admittedly, you know, five years old, like Splatoon 2 was just a couple, you know, like now you couldn't add more DLC to it to reinvigorate the sales of the game itself. You can charge people another 60 bucks to then have even more uh, uh, people buy the game instead of just having another Octo expansion situation, right? So I get it from that standpoint. Did it deserve to be its own thing? You could have made this DLC. The story mode, at least, it is on par with the Octo expansion in terms of, I feel like the, the amount of, there's a lot of levels in obviously this game, but thinking about how it was in the Octo expansion, I feel like you got a lot of levels in that, and you also got a lot of levels here. So maybe the Splatoon 2 DLC, whatever it would have been, that was all this stuff, would have been an extra $30, which had a whole new story mode and then more weapons and stuff. But most people, like, like it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of a business decision. You kind of have to think of those things in that way. I know... Like, that, that's how you, you justify these things getting made. That's reality. That's how it is. Make more money by making a sequel to the game rather than making uh, another DLC for it. So that's why this game was made. And I get it. Obviously, I bought it. Obviously, I played it for all of you. This is just a story mode, not the multiplayer aspect in any way, shape, and form. Um, so I have enjoyed the game. It is more of the same. If anything, I felt this... this I was going to say this DLC... If anything, I felt this game was a little easier than previous Splatoons. Maybe it's because I've, I've played a lot of Salmon Run recently. I've played three Splatoon games now, all the story modes, two of them. So maybe that has something to do with it. But I feel if you have Splatoon 2 and you are a moderate Splatoon fan, like you're not Goo Goo Gaga over everything, but you're like, oh, you know, I can play it. Do you need to buy this game? No. Not for the DLC, or not, not, I'm sorry. Not for the full game, but if you want a new Splatoon experience, you're definitely going to get it here. You're definitely going to see all new levels, characters that have, they're basically exactly the same as they have been in the previous games. You got the two MCs, now it's three, right? Because obviously they have um, Splatfests that take place three ways now. So you get, you get that, you get the multiplayer, you get the story. Which, you know, it's a zapfish getting abducted. It's the same story for literally the third time. Not that you're playing it for the story. You're playing it for the level design of the challenges and all that. So if you are wanting more of that, then get the game. If you're not wanting more of that, hopefully just enjoying me playing this is uh, good enough in of itself. And if it's not, go buy the game yourself. It's all lagging up and whatnot here. There we go. That should hopefully work out there. Splatoon 3 on the Nintendo Switch. It is just the beginning of the, the, the experience because now multiplayer is part of it. Uh, maybe they'll make Salmon good now that the Salmon technically saved the universe. They kind of did that with the Octolings last time. Octolings were awful and now they saved the whole thing. So, cool. But again, I always like doing the, um, the, the what's it called here? The, the credits to give uh, credit to the people who made the game. And shout out to everybody at Nintendo who's worked on this game. I've enjoyed it. You got my money. And that's that. So, uh, time for multiplayer, right? Uh, or until DLC comes out, story-wise. See you next time. Bye.